Good afternoon, Patriots, and welcome to another Sunday sit down with CV. It's a little cold outside, so today I'll be doing my sit down in my nice, cozy apartment. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this together. All right, there's two key words that really define today's purpose. First word is anchor. Second word is love. Let's dive into them together. What is an anchor? An anchor is meant to help keep the ship in place and help keep the ship not from going astray. An anchor stays firm. An anchor is that reliable tool that you always know will keep you steady, in place, focused, every other word you can use. For the Christian faith, one thing that's paramount to understand is knowing that God, Christ, is our anchor. We cannot navigate through life without that anchor. And it's only through God and his son that we can withstand the seas, the tempest, all the craziness of life. He is our anchor. Our anchor will get us through those strenuous times. That's the first thing. Uh, this Sunday sit down can be found really in two verses. Uh, first verse I'm really paraphrasing here is Hebrews 6, verse 16 through 20. Great verse. And uh, it really focuses again on the importance of us as Christians relying on the one, the only true anchor for our soul. Not material things, not things that come and go. The one thing that you always will know will be there. With that being said, in order for you to really use that anchor to fully trust in God, to fully trust and walk like Christ every single day, you have to also understand the next component of that. And that is the word love. Probably the hardest thing for Christians to do every single day is to love everyone. Not just the people you like, not just your friends, not just your friendly neighbor, everyone, even your enemies. The next verse attached to this all comes from 1 John 2, 7 through 8. And this is the main focus of the sermon today, which our pastor did a fantastic job on. Basically, he dove deep into this. And he reminded us that the most important thing for us as Christians to do is not to do the motions, go to church. It's not to put on the face and act a certain way. The most important thing for us as Christians to do on a regular basis is to love one another. Now, with that being said, loving one another does not mean that you're going to just agree with everything that people do. And it doesn't mean that you can't hold people accountable for their actions. It also doesn't mean that people don't have to go through consequences. But what it means is that at the end of the day, when you see someone that you can't stand, especially if you're watching different platforms or seeing posts from people and these things just really get your fire blazing and you just get so angry and bitter. Instead of responding, commenting about them through anger, bitterness, and hate, we need to look at them and say, this is a very bad situation. They are in a very bad spot. And if I call myself a Christian, I need to be able to pray for them. And pray that they will hopefully wake up and pray that they will realize what they're doing is wrong. And pray that they will seize the true anchor and actually live like Christ. So to close out, as Christians, we are called to lean on God as our eternal anchor. And in doing so, we live like Christ every single day. But in order for us to actually live like Christ every single day, we have to be willing to love one another, like really love each other. Ultimately, love is three things. Love is a timeless command. 
There's no limit to this. There's no start point or ending point. It's eternal. It's timeless. Number two, love is the greatest command that God has given to us and that his son has given to us. If nothing else matters, the number one thing you should do is love one another. Love everyone. And finally, love is a test of your faith. So moving forward, as you go through this week and the next week, if there are moments where you're filled with anger, bitterness, rage, based off of people that you see on the TV, on YouTube, or based on things that you read off social media, ask yourself, am I really a Christian? Am I professing to be a Christian? And if I am, am I truly loving my enemy? Am I praying for those who persecute me? As always, I hope you all have a fantastic week. If you haven't seen the most recent video I made, the link is down below. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. Never surrender, never submit. This is Constitution Vet, signing out.